When I come to America, I suppressly find out lots of people deeply believe in these misconceptions, which is when a kid or a baby is crying, you shouldn't comfort them too early. If you does, you'll spoil them. They should come down on their own, conquer the difficulty on their own, so they will become more independent. And a lot of parents even think this is a common sense for them. But reality is, this is a misconception. In fact, one of the biggest misconceptions in the whole psychology history. The creator of this method in psychology we call Kreidel method is created by John Watson, this psychologist. Let me just give you a little bit background of the psychologist. He had three kids. All three of them tried to suicide and one of them even succeeded, which is a really sad story. However, until nowadays, we still believe in it, even on a doctor level. And I will give my personal story to uh, demonstrate that. You know, why I mention is a common sense. Why? Because when we think about uh, when baby is crying, they're asking for help. You know, if we give them help immediately, they will think, I can get whatever I want. I'm the center of the universe, right? This is a really classic psychology theory. That sounds like some, we are giving really bad ego to the kids, but in reality, this ego, when they grow up, will become confident, courage, and even become really brave to facing difficulty because they know someone is loving me. And in the same time, when the baby is crying, you give them comfort immediately. They also will realize, oh, relationship is a such a wonderful stuff. But if when baby stop crying because he feel hopeless, that's the time uh, when baby start realizing no one will help me. I cannot have emotional security. And that will even reflect when people grow up. Get the explanation of what is correct, what's wrong on the way. There is actually a deeper problem. It's actually this misconception is still going around in the doctor world. I used to try to conduct uh, my psychology project. I have this conversation with department head of psychologist, department of my university. She, back then, she, used, she just had her kid even her doctor was suggesting her that uh, you should let the kids sleep in the separate room. If they cry, let them cry it out. But in fact, this cry it out method designed by Mr. Watson is literally designed before people even realize love is a thing. The people who really against Mr. Watson is actually uh, another psychologist. His name is Harry Harlow. You may do not know him, but you 100% know his students. His name is Marslow, and his famous theory is the Marslow Hierarchy of Need. And in fact, the hierarchy of need is actually inspired to against this kind of credit or method, or you know, let the kids become independent. We do not give them immediate feedback. We cannot spoil them. So, why this kind of credit law method is actually harmful for the kid. Because people back then actually think training a kid or raise a kid is the same with training a dog. When they behave good, you should give them a treat. When they behave bad, you punish them. You know, apparently crying for a baby is a bad thing because they cannot be independent, whatever. So you shouldn't comfort them. You should punish them by ignoring them. But everybody understand Marslow hierarchy of need, understand. You maybe let them understand when you cry, nobody will help you, but you destroy something center of a human, which is self-respect, love. They don't even know what is security or emotion security feels like. And when we don't have this emotional security, 
it's really easy for us to get manipulated by other people. And that's the reason why sometimes lots of people is like workaholic because any small compliment by the boss or any uh, you know, position move or you get raised by paid every year, that is enough security for you to going forward when you lack of the emotions of security. And that even can develop to some really severe situation. For example, um, a lot of people out there looking for partner, like love, relationship, they are really easy to get influenced. For example, oh, I give you a flower. I go hospital with you. This one situation makes you feel really touched. So you decide, I'm going to marry this guy or marry this girl. But reality is, when the kids don't have enough comfort from the parents, they will have no conception of what is love really is. As long as one incident makes them feel nice and warm, they will actually just follow the guy. When you actually start dating, you find out that person is not as perfect as it seems. That one really touching uh, memories you have, it's just actually a manipulated behavior for them. And even more harshly, when the kid left alone, being sleeping alone. Uh, the, when the kids stop crying, it's actually because the kids know nobody's gonna help me. Technically, is depressed. So Harley Harlow actually made the same experience. They put uh, just born little monkey in a room by themselves. After one year, two year, you know, try to simulate the same situation of baby sleep alone they actually find out all those monkeys are depressed and they become really short tempers. They become not get along with other people in the group of monkeys. This cruel experiment was actually a word for the 20th century greatest psychology experiment. The reason why, because they are actually showing people showing families, showing parents that this is not the way to go. They save loss of families, destiny of the kids or their method of educating kids. So does the same reason I filmed this video is I'm really sad to see still lots of doctors or parents still using a wrong method was designed 100 years ago. And I, the reason why I'm sitting here talking about all those heavy stuff is actually because I really want to share to people. Knowledge can save people's life, can save your life, can save even your kids' whole life. And we really need to pass on this good knowledge to defeat the ignorance of the society. And this is all the content of the video. And thank you to stick through the whole thing because it's really heavy today. And I hope it helped you. And my name is Paul. I see you next time.